why can't I speak English? Why am I speaking in like layers of English? Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be doing a walkthrough vlog. Ooh, girl, we starting off bad already. <laughs> We're gonna do a walkthrough um, haul today at TJ Maxx, Columbus Circle, 59th Street. It's not really exactly in Columbus Circle, but it's along that strip. I tried to do it last time and you know, I failed at that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm getting ready. I'm putting on my gloss and my chapstick because it is so drying outside and cold. Hold on, is this gonna come out? What's going on, girl? Okay, there we go. Hold on a second. Yeah, I think we're good now. Cause my lip is dry, y'all. It's so dry, but yeah, we're going to do a walkthrough and see whatever else is in that strip. Because last time I tried to do it and it was a complete fail. This time I have more time. So we'll be able, to be able to actually walk through. I just realized something this morning. When I put this on, it's kind of like... Oh, come on, camera. It's kind of like lopsided. You see how this side is a little lower than here? I washed it at the laundromat and it just like changed it completely. But anyway, y'all, that's what we're going to do today. Putting on my sweater and my coat and then I'll catch you once I get there. Guys, I used to work here many, many years ago at H&M. Okay, I just went inside. I used to work there, but um, I didn't record as much content because there wasn't much to see but we used to have like a big lingerie department towards the back corner near the kids section and that's where i used to work i would do the lingerie section the kids department or i would do the accessories so i just wanted to check and see i just wanted to check and see if it was still you know in this building because a lot of things have changed it was interesting it's also like Wolford out here that I used to go to all the time, but all right, now we're gonna head to TJ Maxx. Hopefully, it's still there. I don't know if it's shut down, but we're gonna take a walk and see what happens. Okay, I found it, y'all. It's right there. section in here is so nice look at these right here this looks really elegant really chic i'm in love with this section not sure who the designer is but this is super fun you've got puppies and a crab walking down the beach it's super cute it looks like a lunchbox Okay, Kendall and Kylie, this bag is actually cute. You got the thick handles, you got the K in the front. I like that there's two uh, zippers in the front. I haven't seen zippers like that in the bag. And then you've got this particular shape. What would you call this shape? I'm not sure, but it's really cute and it's big. You know what? It almost looks like a bowling bag, honestly, but it's still super cute, super chic. <music> some fun ones right here this color is really pretty i also like the shape of this one even the chain matches that color which is nice you got the neutral tone got some backpacks under there and then oh look at this one it's like an electric almost like a highlighter green yellow these were also pretty this makes me think of brad's doll love this color like a fuchsia pink in a small medium size you could definitely fit a lot in there but it wouldn't be too heavy i love how sleek this bag is the snake skin it looks way more high end than it actually is priced it's so pretty they also have it in this green tone 
I like this vibe, a small medium bag, just enough. The bag in this location, it it is one of the best that I've seen so far. These black ones are really cute, it's so hard to find cute black bags. This makes me think of old school baby fat. Y'all, they have jewelry displayed in this location. She is super bouge, but I love it. Look at this right here. The pink boxes are so cute. I've just never seen jewelry displayed before, so I'm intrigued. Then you've got some high-end bags locked up, of course. And then you've got these perfumes. The only thing I do hate about these like type of shops is I just can't tell what the scent smells like. But these bottles are super cute. I want to buy and get into blush, but as a brown skin girl, I'm always scared to try them out because all the displays are never people who look like me, so I have no idea how nice or crazy it would look. of skincare products here i've never seen these before but they look intriguing the price is not too bad you've also got these other serums i like these containers it's really nice shocked to see the biosense collection here usually i see them at sephora for way more expensive of a price but they only have it here for 30 dollars, which is not bad we've got hello kitty bath bomb i believe it's a body scrub as well this is really cute i like the packaging this holographic kind of orange and then we have this pink one as well this soap dispenser is super cute. I wonder if they have the other characters as well. taking these home because i do need laundry basket and it's like a purple pink kind of tone almost pastel but still bright enough i just don't know if i want to walk home with it and also i'm not sure of the price oh there we go it's officially easter rabbits are everywhere obsessing over these but for $20 that is wild they feel really nice almost like a suede like material I like the colors the peach pink the yellow this one is like a mauve purple the blue even for the classic girlies they've got gray it's super nice and then we've got this green one over here but they just a bit too expensive almost tempted to buy this y'all banana displays you know what it makes me think of like banksy of course you know i had to check out the mugs because i just love them look at this cup right here you got a flower as a handle that is too stinking cute she's super thin and lightweight though i'm almost scared to put anything in it if i ended up buying mushrooms y'all mushrooms are everywhere
think of these they kind of go with the other cups with the rose but this one's rose in the middle this like wine glass i think she's super adorable they just had a good collection of cups i was impressed <laughs> Before we start, I just wanted to show you how pretty and pink it is inside this bag. Alright y'all, so I'm at the salon right now. Before I start my client, I was not expecting to purchase as much as I did. I'm definitely going back in the future to shop for some more items. It was super clean. They were stocked from top to bottom. I love how organized it was in there. And I felt like they had more exclusive pieces. I don't know if it's because that location, um, like Columbus Circle, that's where like all like the luxury shops and all of that is in that vicinity. So I don't know if that might be the reason why, but they definitely had way more prettier items and selections, etc. I was planning on just like browsing through, but there was no way I could walk away without purchasing. So this is what I got, this entire bag. Yes, girl. All right, so let's go through everything that I ended up buying. I purchased the jumbo bath sponges that from the Eco Collection. Um, it's a two pack and it's for $4.99. And it's so pretty. It feels really soft. So that's, hold on. I think it's like a little too bright in this corner. Now it feels too dark. What's going on? <laughs> Is that a happy medium? Okay, I think that's better. Anyway, <laughs> let's start over. So this is the sponge, right? So nice. I love that they're jumbo and they do have a piece where I can hold on to so I can be able to, you know, take my showers with that. And then I've never owned one of these, but I wanted to try just to see if I like it. And it's a butterfly plush spa headband for uh, for three dollars and ninety nine cents. I just thought it was cute. It's like pink and it's got butterflies at the top. You know, I thought it was cute, so I can put it over and do my makeup. I'm not gonna do now because I already got my makeup on. It feels really nice. It feels like like a robe, robe material texture. Got that. And then I purchased myself finally because everywhere I've been going trying to find bed sheets, everything is like a dull, like a dull muted color and I didn't like that. And so I wanted like pink, purple, or like a electric color, like a neon electric green or yellow, etc. And I found this one and it's the Deluxe Hotel Comfortable Softness. Full sheet set, pre-wash for added softness. It has one flat flat sheet, one fitted sheet, four pillowcases. Okay, this one looks like the one that I bought at Target. It looks a lot like it actually, and it is it's going for $16.99. So I'm not sure if it's coming from the same warehouse, but it looks a lot like what I have right now on my bed. And this is the color. It's so pretty, like a light pink, but still vibrant enough. I like it. I'm not going to put this on my bed just yet. I'm going to keep the one that I have and just continue to wash and reuse it because I don't want to end up getting sick of this and then throwing it out. So I'm going to go back and collect. I want to have at least like a, at least six other colors just, just so I can be able to do laundry and switch out the colors throughout the months because just buying one and sticking to, sticking to that one particular color and washing it over and over and over again, I, I get so sick and tired of looking at it that I just don't want that to happen with this because I really like this color. So I hope I can find like a yellow, maybe like neon colors, maybe like a cobalt blue, you know, fun colors. Okay, let's continue. And then I found these ones where are these like... What would you call these? Are these hand towels or like face towels? It doesn't really say. But anyway, this is going for $7.99. I bought two of them. I like them because it has this cute smiley at the bottom. Isn't that so pretty? 
and it's a collection of two and it's pink I think I'm gonna use this as decor I just haven't decided where like I don't I'm, it looks it looks like a bathroom towel of course so I'm thinking like do I put a hand towel there and just decorate it in the bathroom just to leave it there just so it could look cute or do I use it as my oven towels because I don't have anything for the kitchen yet I feel like I can get away with that right even though it looks like a like a bath towel I feel like I can get away with that putting it on the stove I haven't decided yet but super pretty I really like it okay and then one more for the smiley collection I just thought it was really cute definitely gonna be decor as well I'm not cleaning myself in this towel I just want to hang it up and just have it look really nice and this one is going for $8.99. Look at this towel, y'all. It is so big. It is massive. That's so pretty. I also like that it's like on the reverse side. It's also really nice. I'm thinking of hanging this down as decoration as well because I think it's so pretty. The thing is, I have a lot of decor. I have a lot of pieces that are really nice that I can decorate my home with. The reason why you guys never see it, every time I purchase, I just put everything away, is because I don't have furniture yet. <laughs> so I don't have anywhere to display it. The only furniture I have as of right now is my bed. But anyway, moving forward. Okay, so this one is going for $7.99 and it's a body wash. It's vitamin C and collagen soothing body wash with vanilla and honey so it's paraben free dye free for all skin types 32 fluid ounce I like it I like the ingredients that it says in it it's pretty simple well not all the way simple but like <laughs> I said simple there's like a million ingredients in here it's um, pretty standard ingredients for body wash I guess they just added the collagen and whatnot into it I just thought it was really nice plus of course the color of the container definitely persuaded me to purchase this. Listen, if it looks cute and it makes sense what I read on it, I'm gonna buy it. All right? And then I bought myself another vitamin C and micellar water um, cleansing for like makeup remover and stuff. I have this at home already. I'm already down here. And I'm so happy I found it because I know you might be thinking like, you still have a lot left. The thing is like, you run out of these so quickly and what i've noticed with marshall tj maxx and burlington gold factory it's so hard to to have a standard skincare or like yeah basically skincare skincare body wash lotions all that it's so hard to stick to one particular brand or product that you like because they're always just bringing in new items and, and sometimes you might not find it there's been times where i've gotten so used to using certain things and i've had to like purchase a different product of the similar of similar formula basically so since I found this I, I purchased another one and this one's going for three dollars and ninety nine cents I like it you know micellar water is really good for your skin there's not a lot of like chemicals and crap in it that don't make you break out or anything I purchased that but on the note of that speaking of you know I also bought this mousse cleanser it's called Sakura vital beauty mousse cleanser and makeup remover with cherry blossom um it's for your face eyes and lips i'm just going to use it for face as well and this one is going for three dollars and 99 cents okay i'm excited to try this so first i'm going to cleanse with this one right here and then i'm going to do like a simple wash not like a deep cleansing kind of wash and then I'm gonna use this again to make sure I get everything off before I do like the actual like face wash routine that I do because sometimes when you take your makeup off and you do your you do your um, face wash whatever product it is you're using because I use a lot of mascara I don't use false lashes I use actual mascara sometimes the residue of like the makeup on my eyes or sometimes like around my like hairline i'll still have a little bit of makeup left so i feel like if i do a double cleaner 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 double wait i'm having a brain malfunction double cleanse wow yeah then i'll be good speaking of that <laughs> so this one is what is it? how do you pronounce it by festa be festa by i don't know it's a meisler eye makeup remover 
It's for eyes and lip. So those two I'm going to use just for the face. And then this one, I'm going to use it for my eyes, for like the mascara and all of that, and see if that helps. I like the micellar water. It's not so harsh on my skin. It's been working really well. I don't break out and I don't feel like my skin is super, super dried out. And also, I'm more gentle on my face. I don't feel like I'm tugging. Because sometimes with the face wipes, I stop using it because as I'm trying to remove my makeup, I realize like I'm tugging at my skin. And you've got to be careful because as you age, you know, you don't have, you don't produce as much collagen. And that's when you end up stretching your skin and end up getting more fine lines. So, you know, just a little tip. And then what else I got? So I bought this um, Clinical Works brightening makeup cleansing facial balm infused with vitamin c it melts makeup oils and dirt hydrate and brighten i'm gonna try this as a makeup remover as well i'm just trying everything y'all i'm gonna try everything and see what works best or i might want use one for the morning one for the night or i might alternate i might do a certain facial routine one week and then next week I'll switch it up to different face wash and stuff. I just like to try different things because also like I don't know if it's in my brain that I'm creating <laughs> that I'm creating these like issues in my head but I feel like when you overuse a product and you use it constantly over and over again I feel like your skin just like your body becomes immune to like whatever vitamins you eat or, or take in um, am I explaining it correctly? Like, for instance, if you're taking pain medication and you're so accustomed to taking that, I feel like eventually, like, your body becomes immune to it and that's why you always end up needing a higher dosage. Same thing with your skin. I feel like if you're constantly using the same kind of products over and over again, eventually at some point, I just feel like it stops working. But I don't know if that's me being delusional in my head or if that actually happens. So I just alternate. So I might do one week that method and then next week this method and just like alternate back and forth. So this one is going for $4.99 and it says rinse face with warm water to open pores, pat dry before applying a quarter sized amount of balm. Massage over face for 30 to 60 seconds. Remove with water and towel or cotton pad. Helps get rid of daily impurities, dirt buildup and access oils. Use daily or as desired. I just thought that was interesting. So that's it right here. And it's for $4.99. Let me see if I go. Oh, I didn't even notice that. They gave me like a little spatula at the top. And then it opens this way. And that's what it looks like. Don't be afraid if you go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Burlington, and you find items like this, a lot of their products do not have like the sealer protective, clear, the clear protective seal. A lot of them don't have it. It's still good products. It's still unused. They just don't, I don't know, for some reason, they just don't do it that way, but it's still safe, okay? And then, um, okay, so let me grab all of these. So I saw these right here with these little pieces inside of it. Let me actually, let me open, hold on. Let me open this up so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first product I got is Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5 Serum Capsules. They're little capsules for your face so you just break them on a daily, squeeze it out and then use it on your face. I just thought that was interesting it's less of a mess of using the dropper. I mean, I still use the dropper. I love it. But I just wanted to try this to see how I feel about it. So this is Advanced Skin Boosters. And there's 60 capsules in it. Supports anti-aging for all skin types. Hyaluronic Acid. Helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. While helping to speed up wound healing. Vitamin B5 helps to keep skin soft, smooth, and healthy. Deeply hydrating. It helps to keep skin skin quenched by absorbing moisture okay so wait i thought i just opened it okay let me get the container out so you can see what i'm talking about and this one is for four dollars and 99 cents i just thought it was super cool and i bought two other kinds let me show you so that's what it looks like the capsules in it 
right? So you just take one out and you pop it open and then you use it on your face. I'm excited to try that. As much as I love makeup, skincare is where it's at. I love taking care of my skin. And also, taking care of your skin, not only does it look good and feel good, but if you're a girly girl who likes to put on makeup, it just makes it look a hundred times better. You know, you've got smooth application, you don't have to put as much. Um, so this one is called... Guys, I don't know how to pronounce this word. I don't know how to pronounce it, and I'm not going to, like, butcher it. So it's this particular word, plus retinol, serum, capsule... Okay, same thing, 60 capsule, supports anti-aging for all skin types. Okay, so that's the word right there. I don't know how to say it. And I don't know if on your end it's showing you backwards. I don't know how to say it. But yeah, that's the capsules here. So this one comes in like the green color. I like how they're all different colors. So that one's blue, this one's green, and then the next one that I have is pink. So that word that I cannot pronounce, it helps support the skin's protective barrier, increases its resiliency improves texture and helps balance all um, oil production retinol aids in stimulating new skin cells and collagen production and helps reduce fine lines and dark spots okay that and then the last one that i have that was also for um wait the first one was 4.99 this one's 4.99 as well this next one is 5.99 and it's a collagen and peptides serum capsules 60 as well in here so the collagen, of course, you know, you produce that naturally in your in your body, but sometimes you need help as you get older. So the collagen helps your skin look firmer, increases smoothness, and helps skin cells to keep renewing and repairing themselves. Um, peptides help, helps boost collagen production. It also boosts hydration by stimulating collagen production. Peptides can give your skin the appearance of being more plump. All right? And then... It comes with these capsules in pink. So I ended up getting all three of them. Um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it all at the same time. I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to have to Google and see how many times a week, etc. All right. And then we have just a few more things left. Okay. Um, I usually, I used to use a lot of eye cream. I use it once in a while, but I feel like a lot of eye creams don't really work that well i still have the ones that i used i forgot the name of it but i've had i've had it in my last like tj maxx haul i still use that from time to time um however i wanted to try this one because it's a collagen pro sos eye cream for day and night it has collagen hxa caffeine and squalene um uh, for skin with loss of firmness and, and wrinkles around the eyes i do have a few fine lines so I need a girl okay as you age you just you, you lose you lose the elasticity around your face in general soothing reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles reduces appearance of puffiness help, help puffiness helps to improve under eye skin tone firming even skin around the eyes okay cool so the collagen combination of ingredients peptides what girl let's skip the let's skip the pronunciation so basically it's known for their effective anti-wrinkle properties the caffeine effectively helps to improve appearance of the skin around the eye and its tone and the squalene strengthens the per, the protective liquid lipid barrier of the skin softens and moisturizes. okay and it's this right here i'm about to open it so we can hold on let me grab my other scissor Where is it? Okay, there it is. I'm about to open this so we can see what it looks like inside. Super tiny. They usually are, but I like that it's a tube because usually I have like eye cream in a jar. I like that this comes in a tube. I'm excited to try that, see if it helps a lot more. Um, I also have this at home and it's for $5.99 and it's the clean beauty hydrating facial oil with rosehip oil and vitamin E. I already have this at home. I really like it. It was so hard to find 
like skin oil that actually looks like oil and not looks like oil that actually feels oily like it's hydrating your skin because I do I have I feel like I have I have dry mm, how do I explain it I have combination skin but mostly dry it's usually dry and then I have some areas of my face that's a bit more oily than the rest i don't know if the areas in my face that are dry are my t-zones or i don't know i feel like every time i i look at my face it's like it moves around shifts around some parts become oily at times and, and then months later all of a sudden it's dried out i don't know but i know that it's mostly dry so i need to hydrate more but anyway, this was for $5.99. And then this one, I'm super excited to try out. And it's for $9.99. And it's a vegan collagen booster anti-aging jelly face mask. I've never tried that before, so I'm excited. Um, it has plant collagen booster, organic coconut, retinol, vitamin plus vitamin C boost and let's see where's the directions here use two scoops or a generous layer on skin on the final step of the evening routine for drier skin types layer on additional dime, dime size amount onto the skin be sure to gently pat not rub mask into skin until absorbed and wash thoroughly in the morning so basically put it on in the night after everything that I've done and I've done all my routine, put that on and then leave it overnight and then wake up in the morning when you're doing your face routine and wash it off. Okay? Um, so yeah, I'm excited for it. Y'all, these... $9.99. Good thing I read that to y'all because some of y'all that are visually impaired, like, this would be almost impossible to read. Look at how tiny that is. Like, how do they expect people... Who don't have the most like best vision why can't i speak english why am i speaking in like layers of english how do they expect those with how do they expect <laughs> how do they expect those who have vision issues to like read that like if i give that to my grandma right now to try to read the instruction even with glasses she wouldn't be able to read that so I feel like they need to make the letters more legible for people but anyway I'm just ranting off that's what it looks like right and then I'm gonna show you inside almost looks like a jelly wait why won't you concentrate almost looks like a jelly substance right I'm excited to try that and it's only for $9.99 which is not bad you don't need a lot so this should last you a while but anyway, okay y'all, we're officially done. That is all for the TJ Maxx walkthrough. I hope that you found some things that you like and hopefully within your location, I don't know where you live currently at the moment, hopefully in your area, you'll be able to find some of these things. I can't say so far, every time I've shopped at these locations, like I've never had issues with their skincare, um, the skincare products. I'm always willing to try new things because it just never gives me any issues and I do have sensitive skin so hopefully something here that you like that you find that might work for you but anyway thanks for watching I'll catch y'all on the next one